hindi pala nila tunay na mga ka- Yes, ahora sí. Ahora sí. Pero ¿por qué grabas? Hello, I'm Neymar and welcome to my man. And for today's video and living in a Filipino household, we're going to talk about dollars. Because I'm one. <laughs> okay. No, but seriously. Because this topic, I just um, randomly thought, well, not randomly, because um, as I said, um, whenever we eat lunch, well, for me, dinner, um, we tend to eat in the living room while we watch uh, Filipinos um, TV shows or whatever so this show well it's a talking variety show uh, named It Bulaga they were doing like a scene about a daughter coming home late to their house and it just gave me an idea because I was like wait a minute I just remembered that and I, I'm getting giggled. <laughs> I'm getting frustrated because, yeah, why? Like, um, the scene was um, the daughter came home late and the mom was like, Oh, where you been? I've been texting you, I've been calling you. Um, what, are, what do you use your phone for? I can't even reach you. Um, <laughs> you know what time is it? Um, what type of woman is out this late? And I'm like, repeat that again. Repeat that. What type of woman is out this late? Sorry. What type of woman is out this late? But. If a man is out that late, it's okay. It's okay, you know. But if a woman is out that late, it's oh my god, she's a she's not a decent girl. Why? Some people live at night. Like I used to um, sleep sleep at a day and be awake at night. I was a um, a night person, and some people are night persons. Like, why? Why? Cause it's not the first time I hear that. It's every time. It's what type of woman? It's out this late. Uh, like, um, well, every single woman that they want to be that late outside okay you can say yeah but it's because it's dangerous blah, 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 blah. sometimes it's not because it's dangerous sometimes it's because um again it's what people will say Filipinos always always does everything according to what people will say even my mom does oh my mom does every time and we fight a lot of uh, about that i'm like why well, i don't care and she's like why well, i care and, and we and we argue about that and i mean i get it because if people say something about me me as a per person i just don't care but obviously me, I, oh, obviously she, as my mom, she will get hurt because obviously you don't want to hear something uh, hurtful about your uh, about your kids. As a mom, it will be so um, so painful, you know. And I get it because whenever people get. Um, say something hurtful about my parents I get hurt too because um no I don't want them to be in pain I do well, I can talk <laughs> I don't want them to be um talk about like that because they don't know them they the 
okay they are not the perfect person that they are not what you are saying okay so keep that in mind so yeah i get it i get that people but filipinos are way too obsessed too obsessed of what people will say thankfully these generations are slowly healing and not and trying not to think about that because me for example sometimes yeah i tend to say i don't care i don't care but sometimes it's hard to just don't care because sometimes it just um you know you just think about it and it's okay it's normal because we're obviously people duh <laughs> so yeah and another thing because i was talking to my mom about this because i was like I, I don't know what we were talking about that would end up with the conversation but um i was like i was such a pure oh yeah i remember so i have this um i don't know if it's just my love language or whatever but i like to uh ask for my father to uh to cut my nails yeah I don't know if it's just a love language yeah it's, it's like he says you can do it you're old enough to do it yeah i know but i want you to do it yeah maybe it's the love language it's my way of like give me some love <laughs> so yeah uh so yeah i always ask my father to do that even though i know i can do it myself but yeah i was doing that and she was like and well he was like why don't you ask your mom and i was like my what mom is the greasy person like um have you ever get uh your hair cut or your well it's, this is for daughter i don't know but for me as a daughter and i see a lot of videos of uh daughters um complaining about this when they do your hair oh, it's like they were angry at us like oh my god like they pull our hair like oh my god <laughs> i remember and it's i get hurt <laughs> but yes i don't know why moms are so aggressive about uh their kids when they whatever they do with their hair whatever they do they cut their nails because when i was little my mom cu cuts uh cuts uh, cuts my hair she was the one who cuts my uh nails because my father was always on work um so it, it was my mom to who cut my hair back at this at that time i can say oh my god so painful uh, she grabbed the skin she cut it at like two 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 uh, like you know the the limit if you <laughs> girl the limit she was all almost getting that here okay i'm so dramatic but yeah it's like why are you so are you so angry with me what did i do to you <laughs> and same with the hair like they pull us hard i don't know why and oh my god when i was little my mom loved to make me um bangs so whenever they grow up they grow my mom Oh my god you don't i don't know how my eyes survive this because every time she cuts my bangs she was going like this i don't know why she's so angry with me i don't know i didn't do anything and i was i always hate it when my mom said your bangs are too long now we have to cut it i was like can we wait for for papa because <laughs> you don't know how to do it you do it so aggressively i don't know why I don't know why okay back to this um yeah so through this conversation we end up talking and i was like oh, i i just struggle a lot when i was a little girl with you mom she was like no i gave you everything i was like yeah you gave me everything but you sometimes treat me so aggressively like we always fight like like and she was like how i was like don't you remember how many times we um argue about um my clothes she was like yeah 
and I was like, yeah, cause you, cause I remember you, you, you always tell me, um, you have to wear this or if not, we're not going. And there's some things that I answer back and I tell you that I didn't want to. And if you don't want to, if, if you don't want to go, if I'm not wearing it, then we don't go. Like, I don't care. <sighs> yeah, I got to that point. Okay. I don't know how, but yeah. And she was like, still, um, and she was like, oh yeah, well, if you're not wearing it, I, I'm going to punish you. Then she will, she will end up winning. But yeah, and, I, and she was like, well, I do that for, for you because um, if not, you will end up being um, a lesbian. I look at my mom, I was like, what? <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Where is the correlation? Where is the... <laughs> Why? Because I know so many people who turn out to be lesbian, who wore dresses, skirts, and every little thing, and still end up liking girls. See the mentality, the Filipino mentality, because it's not just my mom, it's all Filipinos. And now that I, I'm allowed to, um, to dress like I want to, and I always wear like pants, shorts, um, even sweatpants. My parents ask me if I'm a lesbian. I'm like, just because I'm wearing pants doesn't mean I like curls, or I don't know. And if yes, well then, what's the problem with that? I don't know. I still don't know, you know, because for what I know, I like boys because I had that, a lot of crushes, fictional boys crushes, because who doesn't exist? <sighs> anyway, that's another topic. <laughs> but yeah, it's not like bro the girl god made us that way even though you put a girl wearing pink dresses pink skirt and all pink if she likes if god made her like her liking girls she will end up being like that because it's god's will and not amount of skirts makeup Dresses will make her a girl or the normal girl. Okay? <laughs> so yeah. Be who you are. If you like girls, if you like boys, I don't care. Just do what you want. Live your life. As long as you don't hurt anyone. Just live your life, bro. Because life's too short. And we are here to live it. So, yeah. <laughs> That's it, pants it. And I see you in another video. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs>